Hey, it's your boy Marty here. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. We'll be doing a tutorial video for native Oculus Quest 2 streaming. So if you want to play like The Walking Dead or Beat Saber uh, natively and wirelessly from your headset on stream, just record it for a video or, you know, for content on Twitch or, you know, YouTube or wherever you put your content at. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to do that and with audio. So this method gives you audio to use for the stream. And so if you're on Twitch and you want your you know community to hear uh, the sounds from the game, which is important for a game like Beat Saber or uh, I guess The Walking Dead or anything with dialogue, well, honestly, most games, uh, this will give you a good method to do that. So first you're gonna need to download uh, Streamlabs, obviously, or uh, OBS Studio. Personally, I use Streamlabs for my day-to-day -day streaming and stuff like that, but it's all up to preference. Uh, I think Stream, I think OBS Studio will be a little bit better for audio because there is a little bit of a delay with audio, and I think OBS Studio gives you gives you that uh, freedom to delay certain audio. It might be in Streamlabs too, but I'm, honestly, I'm not sure. But moving on, so download those two, set that up. Um, then what you're also going to need is the Oculus Developer Hub for uh, Windows uh, and or Mac, you know, whatever you have. So download this, and this will be the thing that pretty much casts your headset's uh, view to your um, to your PC to, for it captured by OBS or um, Streamlabs. So make sure you have that downloaded. And something you also need to do before you do any of this is to go to the Oculus app on uh, Android or iOS make sure your headset is on and that is connected and then press the uh it, it should like it should be like oculus quest 2 connected and then the battery percentage click that then go to more settings go to developer mode and make sure that developer mode is toggled on so you should see the blue the blue uh i guess the bluish bar on when you click it so that, that means it's on because you're gonna need that to connect it to uh, Oculus Developer Hub. So now we're gonna open Oculus Developer Hub. Boop. And this is what it usually uh, looks like when it opens up, just has your device performance information and things of the such. So we're gonna go to My Device and make sure you have the Oculus Quest 2 connected via um, like the link cable or USB uh, to your PC. So it actually shows up right here. And it'll make it uh, not either. It'll, it'll, it'll make it so you can actually cast the headset, which is the point of all this. <laughs> so next, uh, make sure that these, at least the ADB or Wi-Fi, is turned on. Uh, proximity sensor kind of messes up when I do it, but turn it on. And if it messes up, turn it off and then try it again. Next, go to cast, and a window should open up, which is the uh, cast window. Boom. So we got connection, and as you can see. We also get audio, but you can't hear that through the video. Let me just press the button for the headset. Boom. Confirm. Blah, blah, blah. Stationary. Wow. Okay. So you see it actually works. So you actually can see the um, full screen of the Oculus Quest 2. So now let's go to uh, OBS. So let's drag the OBS window over here. And as you see, we're in OBS now. Not OBS, uh, Streamlabs, excuse me, OBS Streamlabs. So now we can add a new source. And so you can grab a window, go to window capture. You can also do game capture, but uh, I have a, I had issues with that. So I do window capture, add a new window, add window source. Boom, pick the right window, which I think is the first one. Yep. Leave all that the same, doesn't really matter. And now, boom, we have the new window capture source. And I'm going to downsize it a little bit so you can actually see it on OBS. And so now with this window, you can, uh, you have your window, you have your audio going through your desktop. Now with this window, you can transform it. So right click, transform. Then you go to edit transform. And now you can actually crop this window however you like. So. I just uh, take off the top, honestly. And if you wanted to kind of just mess around with it to get the perfect crop, you can just crop off the sides and things of such and uh, make it into a better fit of a window. That's what I did. I don't think the bottom needs to be cropped. Yeah, the bottom needs to be cropped. But you, you can do all that and then just press done and save it. And then you can just uh, 
full screen it within the OBS window. So boom, just full screen it. And now you have the full connection, not a full connection, but the full uh, window actually fit to your screen. Um, so let me just hide this real fast. And so that, that's pretty much it. And there, there can be an, uh, a slight delay in the audio. So be careful about that. If you have that, I think in OBS and Streamlabs, you can delay the audio by, I think, 300 milliseconds was the one that I heard of when I found this method. And so do that. I'm not really sure how to do it in, in uh, Streamlabs, but uh, I know OBS has, it has a way that you can do that. OBS Studio has a way that you can do that. So if you had an issue, just search up that method for Streamlabs and or OBS. And then boom, you should have audio on your stream, on your recordings, and all of the such. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys found this video uh, helpful or or anything like that, make sure you like, subscribe, you know, share a comment. If you need any help, I'll definitely help people out in the comments. Also, um, if you want to see more VR streaming content, come on over to my Twitch at twitch.tv. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash MartyDo15, uh, where I stream just VR content and all of a such and uh, different types of games. I love Rocket League. Rocket League and VR are my main two things I do on my Twitch streams. And occasionally uh, I play other games. So I'm pretty much a variety streamer, mostly. Um, and so just come over and over and we'll we have fun. But I appreciate you guys coming to the video. Uh, do all the things I said before. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.